Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today we're going to continue in the tool series. So the way that I'm doing this is basically having a series on tools that developers and consultants and administrators and users of D365 and the Power Platform use often and can help them in their day-to-day -day work. And in this video, we're going to talk about the XRM Toolbox. And this is one of the tools that is probably maybe the most used tool out there. And the tool's been around for some time. It was built originally by a guy called Tangi Tuzan, and the tool has just completely taken off. It's amazing how popular it is and how many developers use it and how many developers have built uh, plugins that work inside the tool. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through how to download it, how to use it, and uh, we'll take it from there. So the first thing you'll want to do is head over to the, to the website at uh, xrmtoolbox.com and then here you'll see the link to download. So this says uh, download latest version. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this and, and that's downloaded. So now let's just go and browse out to the file and here's the zip file. Just go ahead and unblock this if you need to. I'm going to go ahead and unblock this on my side and click apply, click OK. And now let's go ahead and extract this. So if I go like this and extract it, we will be able to uh, run the executable. All right, so that takes us into the folder. Um, and then from here, you're gonna be running xrmtoolbox.exe. So that's the way that you'll run this. So anytime you wanna open up the XRM toolbox, You'll come into the directory that you downloaded it and then double click on this file to open it. Okay, so I'm going to open this up and let's take a look at it. Okay, so that's going to open up uh, the XRM toolbox like this. And you can see in the background, I have some recently used things. So it's just picking this up from my profile. Uh, but basically, uh, the first screen that loads here is the XRM tool library. And you can see here there's, uh, at this time, there's 262 tools out there, right, that are uh, basically available that developers uh, around the world have, have written and they run within the XRM toolbox. And uh, so, you know, you just need to come to one place, which is the XRM toolbox, and install these tools and connect to your organization. And then you'll be able to... Uh, run any of these right so it's really it's really cool uh so the way to get to this as well is if you x out of this and uh come up here to configuration then the tool library so if you were to close down that that this window it'll that's the way to reopen it right and if we look if we look at this uh basically we have display tools we have the 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 types of tools available, whether they're not compatible or they're not installed or installed or installed with the update. Um, and then, uh, or, sorry, uh, or if they have an update available, then we have the different categories of tools out there. So this is useful. So if you wanted Power BI tools, for example, you could click on that. You can see there's a few of those. If you wanted data tools, you could do that, etc. right? Uh, another interesting thing is if you scroll over here, there's the all downloads here. So if we click on the all downloads, we could see here that the, uh, let me just expand this out. So the fetch XML builder uh, is basically the, the top downloaded tool uh, in the XRM toolbox. And so that's, uh, that's obviously a very popular one. We have the plugin trace viewer. So that's also a very popular one here. Uh, both of these are around half a million downloads, it looks like. Then we have the plugin registration tool, and we have the early bound generator, and then we have the ribbon workbench. So that's kind of the top five, right? Um, so 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 much uh, so so much cool stuff in here. We have the ratings of each of the tools. Let's take a look at that. Ribbon workbench gets uh, 24 uh, ratings here of uh, five stars, and uh, so the you know it's another way you can look at things. And then also you have obviously here under action, you have the action of like, uh, if it's if it has been installed or not, and then uh, if, if there's an update available, right? So if I clicked on actions, if I wanted to 
just go ahead and update uh, all the tools that needed updating. Or if I needed to know which, the, what, which ones they were, then I can see these two are uh, pending updates and I can just go ahead and uh, install the updates, right? So let's jump out of this tool for a second now, and, or this window, and uh, we have the connect button up here, right? So if I click on connect, it takes us over here and there's a couple of orgs that I'm already connected to. And uh, same thing down here. If I if I go down to the bottom left, I have the uh, just a quick a quick way to get to these uh, connections that have already been created. So if I wanted to connect straight away into an org, I could just do this. I could do uh, uh, select the org and then select connect. And if I do that, we'll see that it's gonna just connect real quick to my org. And now I'm connected to this org, right? So if you want to create a new connection, you'll you'll uh, basically click on new, create new connection here. And what's useful is there's many different ways to connect, right? And and you know you'll find in if you deal with lots of different D365 and and Power Apps environments that uh, there's always different types of security that's been enabled in the environments. You could have multi-factor authentication, or they could be using app registrations. Uh, it, you know, sometimes uh, you know you need to try different ways to connect because maybe things are locked down or or something like that, right? Uh, but you know, one of the more common ways to connect is the Microsoft login tool. So if you click on that, then you can basically select one of these two things here: the default configuration, or you could provide your own. Or uh, or or what's kind of nice is clicking on the open Microsoft login control here. And so if I click on that, then I can just go ahead here and I have the on-prem versus uh, Office 365. And then I could just go in and uh, basically, you know, provide a username and password here, or I could click in and sign as, in, as the current user. And then when you click login, what's gonna happen is it will uh, create a, uh, a, a an environment within here just so you can save your password and set up so you don't have to log in, keep logging in, uh, keep providing your credentials each time. So that's login. So uh, yeah, once you're, like I said, once you're logged in, you can go back over here and click connect and then that will connect you up to your org. And then at that point on, you can uh, basically open any of these tools and start doing things, right? So let's take a look at how to install one of these tools. Uh, so I'm gonna go with, let's go over to our configuration. Let's see what we have here. And let's go ahead and install the uh, fetch, fetch XML builder. So if I search for fetch XML, we see there's a few of these tools out there. And if I click on fetch XML builder, then I can see the uh, option to, inst I can see that it hasn't been installed, right? So I can basically click install here. And and then it says installation done. Great. So now that's installed. Uh, it's gone to a more of a sh later, lighter gray shaded color here. So I'm going to close this here. And now it's going to appear in my list of uh, plugins available, right? So if I uh, scroll down here, if I scroll down in this list, and you can see here that there's uh, a lot of these that I have uh, already installed. And if I go up a little bit, here's the fetch XML builder, right? And a quick way to get to that also is if you just type into the filter up the top here, it's just gonna filter out so that you don't have to go hunting for uh, the, for the tool, right? So now I'm gonna click on it. And this here says, uh, so there's a pop-up message that, that, that appears uh, for this particular tool. So not all tools will, you know, have these messages, but you can, um, you know, you'll see in different tools, they each tool works in a little bit of a different way because it's a, it has a different developer, right? So uh, this is basically uh, just saying a list of the new features that are out there. I'm gonna go and click continue. And then now it takes us into the tool, right? So we're in the tool and um, we can go and do stuff. And, and, and let's say uh, in this particular case, you know, this is this particular tool is all about building fetch XML queries through a user interface without having to type out the queries themselves, right? So if I click on new here, then it's uh, it's prompting me to select an entity and then I can go and select an entity. So I'll select accounts. And then let's say I wanted to, let's right click on this and I'm going to uh, do a, uh, select an attribute from this list here. 
I'm going to select, if we click on this, I'm going to select the name of the account and we'll do that. And now if I just go ahead and execute this, we'll see that it's bringing back uh, the accounts um, from my organization, right? And if I want to view the, X, the Fetch XML, I can go into here and click on View Fetch XML. And then now here's the Fetch XML that was generated, right? So then I can go ahead and copy this and use this however I want. And, uh, you know, this is just one of the tools, and I'm not going to go into to more detail in this about this tool, but there's uh, obviously so many tools out here. And then, you know, there's some more capabilities up here. You can just click on open environment and that'll take you over to your environment. You can impersonate here as well. Input impersonate as a, another user in your org. Um, you know, if I go back over here, there's, let's close this out here and let's take a look at some of these other things here. We have, if I scroll down a little bit, we have uh, the like chart manager here. We have uh, the Dataverse REST builder, which allows you to, to build out a uh, REST requests through a, a, a user interface. Uh, we have email anonymizer. We have uh, form libraries manager here. We have we have so many of these so many of these tools out there. Plugin registration. That's another one that's interesting because uh, the the out of the box plugin registration tool that you uh, download and run. Uh, sometimes you know that that works okay, and then sometimes it'll have these kind of quirky things and. And if, if you run into some limitations with that, maybe you want to come over here and just open up this plugin registration tool and run it from within XRM Toolbox, right? Some of the, I find some of the things work a little bit better in the XRM Toolbox version than the, uh, than the other version. Uh, you know, we have here Power BI Option Set Assistant. Um, that's, a, that's a useful one, right? We have Role Update. There's tons of stuff on like roles and management. Um, Things like, you know, this one's a good one, a solution components mover, where you can basically move components from one solution into a different solution, right? So when you're doing your your deployments, you may not want to bring everything from one solution over so you can create a sub-solution or, or you can merge solutions, um, you know, so that's another good one. Uh, user roles manager, um, you know, when you're dealing with uh, security, right? There's, there's all, all of... There's so many types of things around security as well and managing users. Um, this one, like a web resources manager, so you can easily view your web resources without having to uh, kind of use the the web version and uh, and deal with some of the limitations there, right? Um, and then also you can, you know, you have these tabs across the top, so it's very easy to uh, click on to each of the tabs and see the different... Uh, uh, multiple tools that you may have open so you can have multiple tools at once and then maybe you're connecting to different orgs at once so yeah so many things you can do with the tool and if we tap back over here to the um, xrmtoolbox.com and head over to the documentation we can see here that there is this uh, for developers area and here is where you'll find uh, lots of information about how to create your own xrm toolbox uh, tool basically, right? So if you wanted to, if you had an idea for a tool that doesn't exist already and you want to share it with the community, uh, this is the place to start and then you can build it and then deploy it. And other people um, that use uh, D365 and the Power Platform, they can they can take advantage of your tool out there, you know, and it's a great way to get your name out there as well. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, hope you get uh, use out of this tool. Thanks so much. So that's it guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.